one, two, three. Heritage New Zealand, Pohiri Tahonga Bill, Committee Stage. Credit Contracts and Financial Services Law Reform Bill, Committee Stage. Vulnerable Children Bill, Committee Stage. I declare the House in Committee for consideration of the Heritage New Zealand, Pohiri Ta Tahonga Bill, the Credit Contracts and Financial Services Law Reform Bill, and the Vulnerable Children Bill. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chairman. The House is in committee. Kia ora tato no reira te whare inga iwi, inga reo, inga hawe wha tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Good afternoon, honourable members. Good afternoon, Mr Chair. <laughs> Thank you, Minister. <laughs> the House is in committee on the Heritage New Zealand Toanga Bill, the Credit Contracts and Financial Services Law Reform Bill and the Vulnerable Children Bill. We come first to the Heritage New Zealand Bill, and the question is that part one stand part as the debate on clauses three through to eight. Mr Chairman. I call the Honourable Minister Christopher Finlayson. Mr Chairman, this is a very short uh, part. It establishes, as one would expect, the purposes and the principles of the Act, sets out a very carefully drafted treaty clause, which I suggest to the committee is a much better model for treaty clauses than some generic treaty clause uh, and obviously it states that the Act binds the Crown. There's also a supplementary order paper that amends a number of definitions, for example Working Day, which Mondayizes Waitangi Day and Anzac Day in accordance with the recent Holidays Amendment Act. The other uh, definitions are minor and inconsequential. The question is that, that uh, the Minister's amendment set out on SOP number 444 be agreed to. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question now is that part one as amended stand part. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Honourable members, the question now is that part two stand part, and we have a debate on clauses nine through to Clause 35. Mr. Chairman. I call the Honourable Minister Christopher Finlayson. Mr. Chairman, uh, there are two subparts to this part. The first part establishes heritage 